All right, for this video, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll go ahead and do number seven and number eight. Well, they're not really hard per se. It's just, okay, they have, uh, I mean, number seven has a fraction, so I'm not sure if that would scare some people off. Uh, and then, of course, uh, they're not simple. Like, they're, they're not, like, easy to, uh, like, one-step process, that kind of easy problem. No, but they're not difficult at all. Okay, for number seven. For number seven, we would go ahead and clean this up by adding five on both sides. So adding five on both sides. So on the left, we would just have one over seven X plus two absolute value. It's greater than six. Okay, we add five on both sides. So one becomes six. And then uh, this is uh, greater. So it's gonna be an all relationship. So one, over seven x plus two is greater than or equal to six. And then one over seven x plus two is less than or equal to negative six. So, and then we subtract two on both sides on the left hand side. So we have one over seven x is greater than four. And then we'll go straight ahead and multiply seven on both sides so that the one seventh will be gone. So, um, Again, for those who can't see uh, that, I'm gonna illustrate it right here. So seven is seven, one in the numerator, one in the denominator. That's how they cancel each other out to become one and one. So we have X by itself. So that's how we have X is greater than uh, 28, greater than or equal to 28. And then on the other side, we have uh, negative eight over here. And then we multiply by seven on both sides. So they can get canceled out. So X is less than equal to negative 56. So we have a negative 56 right here and 28 over here. So it would be greater than 28 and less than 50, negative 56. So for our interval notation, we will have negative infinity to negative 56 uh, in uh, union and then 28 to infinity like this. Okay, oh, can you see my mistake over here? Let me give you uh, three seconds to find out my mistake. The mistake is right here. It should not be parentheses. It should be brackets because they're closed circles. Um, so, um, so right here, we have closed circles with the equal. So we do include negative 56. We do include 28 in our solution set. So therefore we would have a bracket for it. Okay, uh, that's number seven. And then now we move on to number eight. Number eight is also pretty straightforward. So first we have to take care of the eight here. Uh, so we would say, all right, 17 minus eight would be uh, nine. So we have four X minus seven. So four X minus seven is greater than or equal to nine. Uh, it's greater, so or. So 4x minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 9. Okay, so uh, it's 16. And then um, you add 7 on both sides, you get 16 on the right. You divide it by 4. It's a, you divide by a positive number. You don't, you don't flip the sign. So you have x is greater than or equal to 4. And then over here, you add 7 on both sides. You get uh, negative 2 on the right. And then you divide by four. So you have negative two over four, which results in negative one half. So we say uh, the solutions will be uh, less than or equal to negative one half, uh, greater than or equal to four. So that's how we will show our solutions. Okay. And for our interval notation, will be it will be negative in uh, infinity to negative one half. Uh, again, not parentheses, it will be a bracket since we include negative one half into it. And then we have uh, four to infinity right here. Okay, very straightforward, very, very straightforward. Okie doke.